Boo doggy, I am ready for an unboxing. Actually, our friends over at RepTech Cold Blooded Cafe, where we get all our rodents, by the way, link in the description to their stuff. Go follow them on Instagram. Tell them I sent you. Actually, sent us these beautiful animals. Well, you can't see they're in a box, but I'm excited about these. I've wanted to work with these guys forever. So, what do you say we jump in and unbox this beauties up? And I tell you what, these are going to be a great addition to the Reptarium because they're super cool display animals. Let's go ahead and show you what I am talking about. Packed up very nice. I wouldn't expect any different. So, oh, these are little captive born. Oh, and they're going to be feisty. They're going to be feisty. I don't know. I thought I was going to be able to take these out and look at them, but what do you say we give it a shot? I got to show you. Whew. We're going to be chasing some lizards around here, guys. Wow, are you kidding me right now? Look at this thing. It doesn't even look real. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. These things don't even look real. Are you kidding me? It's like a turquoise blue. These are actually green belly keeled lizards, and they got this super long, ooh, and it's biting me, and everything's a feisty. Look. look at this little dude. Oh my God, I love these. These are called Gastropholis persina, and they are absolutely incredible. They're found in Tanzania. Ow, look at this little dude. What is wrong with you? It doesn't really hurt to be totally honest with you, and I hope that we can tame these things down because, uh, well, there you go. What do you think? Come on, little monkey, let go, you silly. It's like a little tiny monitor lizard, which is pretty cool. Let's take a trip to Tanzania. Of course, Tanzania and Kenya are middle of the continent of Africa on the east side, and a lot of really amazing reptiles are from here, including these little buggers. And these guys can be up in the canopies, they can be on the ground. They're a really social animal, which is pretty cool. So we got three of these little guys, and he will not let go. As an adult, this would probably hurt, and yeah, now he's peeing on me, which is a, uh, it's a great thing, but thank you guys over at Reptech because I have loved these animals since I first saw them years ago, and I always want them. So they're going to be a really cool display animal here over at the Reptarium. They get only about a foot long, but you can see that really long tail. That's the majority of their body, and they are just absolutely great. Again, they're definitely a communal animal, and I can't let this, I, it just won't let go. Let me see if I just like maybe put them down like this. Let go, let go little buddy, it's okay. They are feisty little monkeys, unbelievable. Come on, dude, let go. It's okay, seriously, I wanna put you away. So it's gonna be cool to be able to set up a real arboreal enclosure. It's, they're gonna run around. Like I said, they're really brazen, so they'll come out really cool. We obviously have to tame them out. And I know that you can tame these things. They are pretty quick, but uh, we obviously have to tame them out. So we actually have three of them, and they turn kind of a greenish color, but wow, as babies, they're this bluish color absolutely ridiculous i love these things so again link in the description not only we get all our rodents from cold-blooded cafe but also rep tech you can follow them on instagram i'll put all the links in the description thank you guys uh as in the meantime i'm just hoping at some point today this guy will let go Oh, and by the way, welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is amazing. Let's go ahead and see if these cheeky monkeys are gonna give me any more of a hard time getting them in this beautiful enclosure that Jessica set up. Go ahead, bud. Be free. There, look at how cool they look. Woo-hoo, doggy. That is absolutely incredible. Of course, the female's a little bit more green. I'm gonna go ahead and just do the same thing, take this off and let her run around. There you go. There you go. Up here, up here. Let's go that way. All right. And as they get bigger, they will get a little bit more emerald color. But this one is absolutely gorgeous too. Oh my gosh. Now we'll go ahead and just let that let that one go there. Wow, I tell you what, they are gonna be so cool in this enclosure right now. They got all the climbing area, they got terracing ledges, they got a hot spot, they've got UV light, they've got everything they need. These guys are pretty bold, so again, they're gonna be up at the front of the cage and stuff like that. Will we be able to hold them? I'm not 100% sure, but we can certainly train the feet, and I think that's gonna be absolutely incredible. What an awesome addition. Thank you guys again over at RevTech and Cold-Blooded Cafe. Love these guys.
How awesome is that? Of course, we got our checking in podcast mat just in from floormat.com. I am super happy. Of course, they made a bunch of reptarium stuff. And hey, I've got a little special offer for you guys right now. If you go to floormat.com, you want a custom floor mat, you know, with your animal on it, your logo on it, anything like that, you can actually use the promo code Brian B, and you're gonna save some money on that one. So again, go to floormat.com, use the promo code Brian B, save some money, get yourself a custom mat like this. Absolutely love this thing. I'm gonna tell you what, this place is coming together. For the longest time, I've been trying to find shelled snails for some of the animals because, you know, the blue tongue skin mango they actually will eat shells as well as the actual inside and I've just been feeding the inside so it's good calcium so uh, hey uh, let's roll some cool cooking music and uh, let's smash these up Let the fun begin. Mango is actually the one that I really wanted to get this calcium into. So let's see if he eats it. Come on, He's mango. pretty good. There he goes. There he goes. Bingo. And again, that calcium is going to be oh, yeah. so good for him. He just like swims away. He's like, I've got my spoils. I'm out of here. So he hides in the back over there. So he's definitely going to crush that. We'll give him one or two more pieces of actual snail meat and the actual calcium of the shell itself. That'll be really good for him. I think she's going to really like that. Like I said, I've been looking for like a year for this. So I was really lucky that we finally found a place that we can get these consistently. Uh, and then what do you say? We feed some skinks? I say we feed skinks, skanks, lizards, anything. All right. <laughs> Did you see the new rock? What rock? There's another rock. There's another rock. Where is that? Don't tell me I have to go find it. Just give me you. Yeah, go find it. No, well, it's on. It's over here somewhere. I just can't really remember. Oh my gosh! All right, so uh, people have been leaving rocks at the reptarium, and it's super cute. And, and uh, trying to find it. Stop! Oh, here it is. Oh my gosh! This is so cute. It's a little owl. Who doggy? Who doggy? Post to Facebook, life's a beach rock. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love this this thing, you know. I love the fact that people are starting to plant rocks here and we have to find them. I mean, that this one is awesome. I love it, thank you so much. You guys remember that first clutch of ball pythons I got this year were actually slugs. And I actually mentioned before she laid that I thought she didn't feel good, right? And what I meant by that is you can actually palp and feel if an egg looks good. This is the second girl that's from the same male, so let's hope that it's a good clutch. And basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just kind of put her head back in this cage and I'm gonna let her kind of crawl through my fingers and I'm gonna palpate for the actual eggs themselves. And what you don't wanna have is like dunk, dunk, dunk with spaces in between. What you want is nice soft eggs that almost feel like one big sausage with a little bit of concaving going on and stuff like that. This girl feels great. So I have a feeling she's gonna lay in the next probably week or so and it looks like she's got good eggs. So if you ever have ball pythons, you wanna know if they're gonna have good eggs before they lay. Again, if you palp them like that, you wanna feel, again, soft, and you want them to almost, the eggs almost mushing together, right? Because the slugs are actually harder and they actually go kunk, kunk, kunk with spaces in between them. So this girl looks good. I'm super happy about that. So we're gonna go ahead and get potato. I think he's gonna really love these for sure. Look at that nice, Look at that juicy. Junk. Come on, buddy. You want some? Come on, potato. Get a little snail, boy. Let's go ahead and see if Erwin wants to eat. Come on, buddy. He loves snails. Come on, bud. Erwin. Oh yeah, there we go. We're enticing the beast. Come on. Remember yesterday when we put the egg in with the female egg eater? The male ate, but the female didn't. Well, guess what? Uh, the female did eat that egg. You can see right back here, this is the actual shell of the egg. So she did eat it. And again, it's so weird, right? They eat it and then they crush it in their actual neck and then just eat the yolk and then spit out the shell. Really crazy. So really cool. I promise you guys, we're going to get some footage of this, of her actually eating it at some point, And it's going to be absolutely incredible. Well, no one I tried to feed the skinks didn't work out so well. So what do you think, Elvis? Oh yeah. Elvis will crush it. Which one do you want to feed? I think we just end up just putting it right down here like a dinner plate Ooh. and see if he'll come over and, and eat it up. Oh, he's smelling oh. it. Oh, come on. Got a big dinner for you. Go to town, buddy. Now, will he eat the shells as well as the snails? I think he will, and it'll be really good for him. It's good calcium for him. All right. He's liking the smell of it. Mmm. Look at him. He's like, oh, this is exciting. There he goes. Oh, he grabbed the big one. Look at him go. Oh, yeah. He singles one out. Go, Elvis. 
Now it'll be interesting to see if he chomps it or swallows. Come on, use that pressure. Crunch it a little bit. Crunch it. Swallowed it Oh, he just swallowed it. That was the biggest piece right there. So the rest of them, uh, he, I think he's gonna have a good time. And most of them are unshelled, so that he's really gonna like that. Oh, but, but he, he went right for the shell. Exactly, he went with what he knows. He knows he can just swallow Gobble that those. one down too. So this worked out really well. So unfortunately, the skinks didn't eat, but Elvis is the good recipient of, uh, of their, their passing it up. So this is gonna be good for him. And water monitors actually in the wild will scavenge for clams and snails and all kinds of stuff. They are definitely a scavenging animal and uh, pretty much come across anything that they could possibly eat, especially water monitors that literally live right by the water. He's absolutely loving this delicacy. Ooh. <laughs> it's funny how he uses the plastic cup so perfectly. He never tries to eat the plastic. He knows exactly what to go for. It's amazing how smart they are, aren't they? Yeah. It's just amazing to see that brain thinking, right? He's looking at everything, trying to figure it out. You know, it's something that he's never really had before, but yet he's still using his brain to figure it out. This is awesome. Pretty excited about this right here. This is actually an older female Woma Python. I mean, she's like almost 20 years old. I've had her for a long, long time. But look at, she is coiled up and she is ready to lay a clutch of eggs here pretty soon. She might still be another couple weeks away, but she is definitely loaded up. And she hasn't produced eggs in the last two or three years. So this is the first clutch from her. So hopefully we'll get some good eggs from this girl too. She is an absolute beauty. And again, like I said, I've had her for such a long time. When it comes to ball pythons, clown stuff is certainly whatever everyone is really always looking for. Clowns and pied seem to be that like recessive, like, oh my God, I gotta have some stuff. And there's so many great combos. I'm loving this one. This is actually a super pastel, lesser leopard clown ball python. This is a little boy that should be ready to breed next year. So he's gonna definitely go to some really beautiful females, but wow, that is just one stunning animal. This is such a cool ball python right here. This is actually a suma ball python, which is the super mahogany, but this is also hat for pied. So we can get that black and white ball python. Just really cool. I mean, it's again, you know, some ball pythons you can take away the color and it makes it really amazing and some ball pythons you want to add a bunch of color and pattern this is definitely the opposite way right no pattern and the only color being almost a black animal but absolutely a ripper and by the way people always ask me do scaleless snakes shed the answer is yes. This is what a scaleless snake shed looks like. You can see it's got the ventral scales, but on the back it's completely kind of scaleless. So it's really kind of cool. If you enjoyed this video, and I hope that you did, here's a playlist of me unboxing a bunch of stuff over here. Hit that subscription button. We're over 3 million guys. Let's just make it to the next million, right? Turn your post notifications on. Thank you so much for everything. Have a wonderful day. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you tomorrow.